Hello everyone, and welcome to the AgriDry Series Grain Quality Control Topic of the Week. My name is Clint Walker, and this week's topic is the AgriDry Grain Spreader Settings and Operation Adjustments. Today I have one of the smaller spreaders that we manufacture here at the facility. I actually don't have all the parts and pieces on it, so it's easier for demonstration. But today I want to go over what needs to be done before you start putting grain in the bin, and then the adjustments uh, when you actually start putting grain in, into the spreader and, and what to look for. Before you start putting grain into the bin, it's crucial to make sure that all the components on the spreader are cleaned out and to ensure that everything is going to work properly before you start putting grain throughout the spreader. One of the things that we do is to make sure that the hopper is completely cleaned out. The leveling band is cleaned out and free so it moves actually up and down with the adjustments that you make from the top of the bin. As well as make sure all the chutes are actually cleaned out. No foreign material, nothing's plugged on the chutes um, to affect the, the performance of the spreader. Once the spreader has been cleaned out and, and ready to go, the operation adjustments are all done from the top of the spreader. We have the hopper that has the tabs on it that you can actually bend in or out to help deflect the grain to help center it in as it comes into the spreader. As well as we have the adjustable knob at the very top of the spreader to adjust this leveling band up and down for the bush per hour fill rate that you're running. The key to any spreader for adjustments is to make the adjustments early so that you can still get into the bottom of the bin to make sure that your grain levelness from side to side and, and from the center to the outside is where you want it to be. Um, all the fines and everything are being spread out like it should. So all those adjustments are done early before that bin possibly gets um, way off side to side in the bin uh, levelness wise or have bigger problems than, than what you can overcome later when the bin is, is too full to do. So you're going to set this leveling band to where you want uh, the bushel per hour fill capacity that you're running. You can actually turn this counterclockwise to raise the leveling band, turn it clockwise to lower the leveling band. On all situations, we want as much grain to go through the leveling band and out from underneath and down the chutes of the spreader to be able to get to the outside edge of the bin. But at the same time, we actually want to keep this leveling band full and act as almost like a cushion box and actually want to cascade over that leveling band so you're always keeping that leveling band full. That's key to, to any of the spreader operation. The only time that we don't overflow over that leveling band is some of the, the low rate fill spreaders that could possibly be coming out of a dryer, an air system, anything that you have a low rate and you actually have a black tie bar insert inside the hopper. And with those tie bar inserts, it actually necks the opening down a lot tighter and that helps center the grain where you want it to be. And usually we run this leveling band about an inch and a half or two inches above the cone so that the grain actually goes through the, the leveling band and it does not overflow. That's the only time that it doesn't overflow. All other situations you want to actually overflow and, and grain going through and over that leveling band. That's the very first adjustment. The next adjustment is once you have that set for the bush power fill capacity that you're running, then you have the hopper that has the tabs on it. And this hopper, you can, like I said, you can pull it out if you have the clearance to be able to do that. Pull it right up out of the, the spreader arms and actually bend these in or out depending on where you want the grain to divert to. And so when we're looking at the, the settings that need to be happening while you're filling the bin, if you can get it in the bottom of the bin and actually see where that grain is laying, if you see it at high on one side compared to the other side, the high side of the bin, wherever that hopper's sitting, you need to pull those, those tabs in. And I usually go about an inch, um, maybe on two or three tabs. You gotta think about if this spreader's rotating, you gotta be before that, those arms get there, okay? So you wanna take about two or three tabs, bend them in about an inch or so, a little bit at a time, on the opposite side, if they haven't been open already, bend those tabs out about, an, about the same distance, about an inch. And then basically what you're doing is you're oblonging that hopper and you're allowing the, the grain to go into that hopper and actually shift over as, as it comes into the top of the spreader. So between those two adjustments, um, you can do a lot and actually help divert and uh, get the grain where you want it to be on the spreader. That's all for this week. I'd like to thank you all for joining us. Visit our website for more in-depth videos of the grain flow and through our spreader and operation adjustments. And remember, here at AgriDry, grain quality is not an option.